Hey guys, what's going on? Troll Pal CHH here. So I wanted to get this video out today because um, obviously it's a timely mannered video. We're talking about uh, important Scream Factory titles that are about to go out of print. Um, I'll give my opinion on if they're ones that I think you should grab now or ones that you might can hold off for if it's not something you necessarily need right this second because of uh, circumstances per se. Um, but yeah, there the majority of these I definitely can say go for it. But I'm shocked at the stuff that's going out of print. Uh, so let's just get you know let's get right into it. The first thing that should be of no surprise, obviously going out of print, is uh, the Pumpkinhead Steelbook. This is the Blu-ray Steelbook. Um, so uh, there's really no reason to get that. You can get you know Pumpkinhead on 4K available right now, and it's it's well worth the uh, price of admission for that because it if, if you saw my review for that when i did it a while back it's one of the best 4ks i think screen factory's done it was fantastic so this right here even at 23 dollars, it's not worth it um i would not go for that at all I, i'd just go ahead and get the 4k if you have it but what's what's really interesting is this um big trouble in little china is going out of print now this is the most interesting one to me right uh, so Big Trouble in Little China came out in 2019, and you would almost think this would have been a title that they would have done a 4K UHD for. Now, the interesting thing is, I'm tr when you look back at Scream Factory's 4K UHD runs, most of the titles, like The Howling, uh, let me look, uh, for instance, like The Howling, um, like The Exorcist 3, like The Fun House, like... The Burning, like Escape from New York, like Black Christmas, like Prince of Darkness, uh, like Cat People. I could go on. The majority of those titles, guys, they stay in print on Blu-ray. They stay in print with Scream Factory. The only exception I can think of is Return of the Living Dead. That went out of print from Scream Factory on Blu-ray. And then magically... The rights were uh, acquired again after after some time, and then we got we got the uh, development of getting a 4K for Return of the Living Dead. This could be I cannot foresee because Big Trouble in Little China is a great movie. If you haven't seen Big Trouble in Little China, it's it's one of John's most ambitious wild films. I think it's one of his best movies, and it is a movie I want on 4K above anything else. The, the situation here is, what do you do? If you're somebody that's getting into physical media right now, and you say to yourself, well, damn it, Christian, you know what? Big Trouble in Little China is a movie I want to own. Should I grab this Blu-ray or wait? I could be rolling the dice here. I always say go with your gut. My gut, if I was in this position, knowing the information that I know, is my gut is wait, because if you want to own the film on Blu-ray... Uh, I doubt this is going to become a very expensive Blu-ray, even after this is out of print, let's say in four or five months. I think, I just really think that this is going to get a 4K soon. It's definitely going to get a 4K soon. Will it be from Scream Factory? I don't know. And worst case scenario, if the Blu-ray for Big Trouble in Little China does go out of print, it did have some new special features. They interviewed, I think it might have been the sidekick or somebody. Or somebody. It was, excuse my ignorance, but it was definitely some of the, uh, the more... Asian actors in the film that were interviewed for this release that weren't on previous releases. But if you want to have the film on Blu-ray, um, you can get the film on Blu-ray still. Big Trouble in China has no shortage of Blu-ray releases uh, from the parent companies and things like that. But this is interesting because it's going to be interesting to see, you know, is this going to be getting the 4K from Scream Factory? Now? Is it going to get a 4K? There's no doubt in my mind it is. Um... If you're into the Studio Ghibli stuff like my wife is, they've got some stuff. Uh, Princess Mononoke, uh, Spirited Away Collector's Edition stuff. Uh, Beetlejuice, the complete series on DVD, is going out of print from um, Scream Factory, Shot Factory. And it looks like there's a slew of Hammer titles. If you guys are into the Hammer titles, I won't harp too, too long on that because I know I lose people uh, with Hammer stuff. Uh, but Lust for a Vampire, I actually don't own this one myself. It says there's 468 in stock. Oh, that reminds me. Let's go look at the, um, let's go look at the, uh, real quick, the big trouble. Let's see what it says is in stock. 544 in stock. Okay, 544. 
That's interesting. Very interesting that they're being honest and giving you guys the uh, counters for that. Um, this is the big thing right here, guys. So if you're watching this, you need to be ready, uh, ready and willing. Uh, the Fly Collection for $51. This is the Blu-ray collection of the original Fly, the sequel, The Curse of the Fly, the Cronenberg Fly, and the underrated Fly 2 starring Eric Stoltz box set. Now, I've just done videos talking about these box sets and actually saying I'm impressed that these have stayed in rotation and stayed available for so long. Uh, I definitely think this is something you should grab. Uh, I don't know that uh, the Fly is going to get a 4k anytime soon i'm referring to the cronenberg one uh if it doesn't i'm totally happy with this box set i love this box set to death um and with the fly too now what can happen to the fly too i don't know maybe there, there's a part of me that thinks this could end up as an mvd rewind title for one reason or another maybe not necessarily the fly but maybe so i mean there a lot of these companies guys they're going hard and they're fighting for the rights and we're seeing a lot of separation with stuff I've, i did a video just a while ago too talking about how part one comes out on this label part two comes out on this label so everything's up for grabs and i don't know because obviously the way screen factor is able to license what would be their golden goose in this which is the cronenberg fly you know disrespect to the original fly they had to the, the license that they got was they had to sell them together and they 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 accepted that offer I would even hesitate to guess how long that'll last. 958 left in stock. It could, I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'm just going to, as I'm recording this now, I'm going to think about that. How long is that going to last? It's at 958 right now. And today is Wednesday. All right, guys. So the next one is what I'm really interested in seeing. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, I can't believe this box set's finally going out of print. I'm, of course, talking about the Omen box set. And this one's a few dollars more. This one actually has more, which is amazing. So there's 1,060 left in this. This is one of my favorite box sets, if not my favorite uh, box set that Scream Factory has put out. I have mine right here. This Omen box set is so good. Um, the packaging, the, the box art, I love on this with the Raven and everything. Um, getting... Not only Omen 1 and 2 and 3 with um, Sam Nail, but getting the fourth one, which was actually directed by the Othan and Gerard guy. And then the remake. I mean, the remake, it's not, I'm not a big fan of the remake, but this box set is so well done. Original artwork on the art. Uh, the movies look good. I want to say it's a 4K scan for part one, too. Let me see. 4K remaster from the original camera negative for the Omen 1 on here. 4K remaster from the camera negative. So, it might have even been like that for part two. Uh, no. So, the, the, the sequels are all 1080p, but the first one is a 4K. It's a great box set. If they never do a 4K for the Omen, which I'm sure they will one day, but if not, like I'm so happy with this box set. It's my favorite one they've put out. So, very interesting that that's finally going out of print. That's been available uh, uh, since 2019. So... Lasted five years, guys. Wow. Tom's flying. Uh, this is a movie. Oh, man. The Entity. Uh, there's only 300 left of this one, guys. Now, this movie is insane. I'm going to describe this movie to you. This movie's really good. Really, really good. Uh, this movie is about a evil demon entity, paranormal entity, that does horrible things to this woman. I can't really describe it too much because I don't want to spoil it. But uh, this is an incredible film that is so under-discovered. Um, definitely worthy. I, when I first got it, I didn't think much of it. But then when I watched it, I was like, oh my god. I can't believe how incredible this movie was. It, it, it gets to you. This is definitely something you need to get now. There's only 300 left of that one. The Entity is incredible. Uh, remarkable film. Absolutely remarkable. So that was the biggest shocker to me when I was looking at this uh, that was going out of print. Uh, here's Scars of Dracula, another Hammer title. Let's see how much left. We got 500 left of this. This is at $21. I almost wonder if some of these will go down cheaper if they don't flush out the remaining stock quick enough. Um, but as you can see, more. Um, Horror Frankenstein. 
to the devil a daughter. Uh, Superstition. This is a good movie. This one's low too, guys. Superstition is good. I have this one. Superstition is a good movie. Big fan of this one. Um, so I would get on that too. There's only 200, 199 left on Superstition. So there's that. Wow, guys. This whole thing's crazy to me. Some of the stuff. Oh, Road Games. So Road Games, I don't know what's going to happen with Road Games, if that's going to get a, a, a 4K or not. It's not really a title that I would jump at the idea of getting of it getting a 4K, especially because I have some really nice releases of it. Um, but for that price, this is a great release, guys. This is a great film. I love Road Games so much. Great movie. It's actually one of my favorite movies with Jamie Lee Curtis in it, and it's got um, Stacey Keach, the hair guy from uh, Body Bags. So this going out of print is, is very upsetting. I like just knowing that some of these great movies are available, and I would not miss out on Road Games. So, so far, the Entity, Road Games, uh, and uh, the Omen box set I would not... I would not sleep on. Let's put it to you like that. Uh, the Seduction. We got Dr. Jekyll. And, like I said, a lot of Hammer stuff. Vice Squad. This is actually a really good movie. I love Vice Squad. I picked this up um, as a blind buy. And this is one of the early... Uh, this is a very, very early Scream Factory title. Um, great cast. Love this movie. Um... It's real seedy, you know, downtown, you know, kind of movie. Love it. Um, yeah, it's been a. This is something I can understand going out of print, uh, but yeah, that is down to four hundred and sixty-six. Wow. Some of the stuff it's kind of like wow. I can't believe it stayed in print for so long. Fright, fear in the night, fear no evil, guys. The Manitou, uh, straight on till morning. Demons of the mind. Dark Rising, obviously, if it's IFC, kiss it goodbye. That's why we're seeing Darkness Rising right here. And uh, I don't remember if the rental was IFC or not. I think it might have been. I have that. I don't have Darkness Rising, but honestly, I don't know a whole lot about this. There's only 18 left, though. I wonder if I should grab it. Damn it. Oh, it looks pretty cool. I'll watch the trailer when I'm done with this video. Um... I would anticipate everything that they have under the IFC umbrellas going out of print. Yeah, look, the Devil's Dolls. So, uh, the Chosen, Kirk Douglas in this. I don't, I don't have this one. I don't know much about it. This is down to the last 160. So, this is from 1977. Okay, that's down to the last 167, guys. Warning sign. Circus of Horrors, Alien Outpost, again, another IFC title, and the final program. So, guys, I mean, it is, uh, it, stuff's going on print. I, I, I would really recommend not passing uh, up on uh, the Omen box set, uh, the Entity, for sure, and uh, Road Games. The Fly box set as well, probably, but when it comes to Big Trouble in Little China, I, I just think... That title's gonna, that title's getting it's going to be getting a, a, an even nicer release. Now, if you're not a 4K person, I should say this though: if you're not a 4K person, gra grab that because it's the best release. So uh, it's the best release available. That's for sure. Um, if you're not a 4K person, and if you're my money says Scream Factory is going to put it out on 4K though. But if you're not a 4K person, get get it because you may as well just get that. It's going to be a good release. That's a great release. And you don't have to pay, you know, out-of-pocket prices for it. That's a fair MSRP, whatever you call it, value. I don't know. It's hard. Like, I'm trying to think of my viewers because my viewers are different. Some people are 4K. Some people uh, are probably like, oh, well, I'm going to wait till this is sold out. Then I'm going to sell my Blu-ray to get more money for it. Then I'll get the 4K when it comes out. It's just one of those things. So... But there it is, guys. I'll let you, you guys are smart. I'll let you make your decisions on that. I just wanted to come here and let you know, like this stuff's out of print. They actually give you a a, a body count now, if you will, with this stuff. So uh, there you go, guys. I just wanted to inform you. Thank you for watching. This is your old pal CHH. 
God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.